Hello adventurers, welcome to this series of old school RuneScape videos where we explore everything about the game of course not all in one go. In this video, we will be learning about the Dig Site Pendant and all about it. The Dig Site Pendant is one of the fastest ways to travel to Fossil Island. The Dig Site Pendant was introduced on May 29th. 2007 in Varric's new look update. I believe this was the update where Jagex had changed the look of the fountain in Varrock Square, but I'm not sure it's been like 500 years ago. To acquire the Dig Site pendant players must complete the Dig Site quest. Unlike most jewelry in the land of Gelenord, the ability to enchant the base necklace, a ruby necklace, is locked behind the Dig Site quest, and after the player finishes this quest, they must go get a job at the Var Rock Museum and go through unclean finds to find a clean necklace, which is one out of 51, and only then does the player get the ability to enchant the ruby necklace into a Dig Site pendant. Making a Dig Site pendant from raw materials are pretty straightforward in order to make the base necklace. A ruby necklace you will need a crafting level of 40 and a magic level of 49 to enchant the necklace. If you go to any furnace around the world of RuneScape with a gold bar and uncut ruby and necklace mold you will be presented with the option to craft the necklace. Once crafted you can pat yourself on the back if you have the prerequisites complete you can use the level 3 enchant spell located in the player's spell book while you have 1 cosmic rune and 5 fire runes in your inventory. When worn, the Dig Site Pendant gives no boosted stats, and like some of the other necklaces I have covered in my previous videos, give a plus one to your fashion scape, one being the worst. The Dig Site Pendant cannot be sold to the general store. As far as selling it to other players, the Dig Site Pendant is non tradable, but can be low alt for 960 GP, or if you're feeling frisky, it can be high alt for 1440 GP. A freshly enchanted dig site pendant starts with five charges, and once all the charges are used, the necklace will crumble to dust, just like my hopes and dreams while digging through the unclaimed finds to unlock the enchant spell for this pendant. The dig site pendant offers three different teleports. They are Dig Site, Fossil Island, and Lithgren. Two of three must be unlocked by questing. The Fossil Island Teleport can be unlocked by completing the Quest Bone Voyage. Once completed, the player will have to go back to Fossil Island and go to the house on the hill that is on an island itself just north of the Fossil Island camp. Once at the house on the hill, the player will need to use an enchanted pendant on the Strange Machine in the southern part of the house to unlock the Fossil Island Teleport. The Lithgren Teleport is unlocked after completing one of RuneScape's best quests ever made is complete, Dragon Slayer 2. When you are ready you can travel to Lithgren by taking a small rowboat on the west side of Fossil Island to the Lithgren Island and climbing through the rubble and past the large doors you will find the Rune Dragons there is another strange machine you are able to use a pendant on and when you do you will gain the ability to teleport back with this pendant freely. Also, if you ever wish to remove the teleport, that option is available to you by using the necklace on the strange machinery once. More, but let's be honest, why would you do this? The dig site teleport is useful for early game players that need to get Moritana a bit faster and really helps with early questing as well as any clue scrolls that may need to be completed at the exam center. It is also the second closest teleport to the lumber mill without using a lumber mill scroll which costs 12,000 GP on the grand exchange. The main reason people use the Fossil Island Teleport is because it's close to a magic mush tree. There are four of them on this island and will teleport you around to the local spots that have a birdhouse spot used for the skill hunter. It's some of the best passive hunter experience in the game as well as a decent moneymaker as you get high level seeds from bird's nest. The Lithgren Teleport also holds some of the best mid-level moneymakers in the game as this is where people go to slay rune and adamant dragons. As the rune dragon always drops a rune bar, bones, and has a chance to drop many of rune items. The adamant dragons drop the adamant bar as well as some other decent drops, but does have an item called the dragon metal slice which is used to make a dragon kite shield. The Dragon Metal Slice sells for 47 million GP on the Grand Exchange. The Dig Site Pendant can be mounted in a player-owned house if all past mentioned unlocks are obtained, but wait, you really thought it was that easy? You thought you jumped through enough hoops. 
Get this guys in order to make a mounted dig site teleport in your player owned house you will need to get your hands on a curator's medallion. To obtain this overpriced mounted teleport the player must give 250 cut rubies, 500 fire runes, 100 cosmic runes and one dig site pendant to the curator Haig Halen in the Varrock Museum found on the ground floor. Now you have the medallion you can now make the mounted teleport inside your player owned house if you have level 82 construction and it can built in your portal nexus room you will need one mahogany log, one gold leaf and the curator's medallion after it's all said and done it's well worth it as the teleports are unlimited in your POH. I haven't made a single dig site pendant after that. That's all I have for today's video, but if you enjoyed this type of content subscribe and like or dislike it as it does help with visibility and lets me know your opinion on the video itself if you have a suggestion of what I should make a video on next leave a comment if you don't have a suggestion leave your favorite old school RuneScape NPC in the comments below, I love to hear them. This is all Ranger and I will see you in the next video.